Hey, what's going on guys? It's JC from Motion VFX here, and today we're going over the M type to refine for DaVinci Resolve. Now, when it comes to creating content, my video skills are definitely better than my editing skills. So having a pack that's easy to use and as clean as this makes it so much easier to be able to get professional results. Let's dive into it. Once you've installed the pack via the M installer, you'll want to head over to the Effects tab and search for M Title Refined. Here is where you're going to find 50 super cool titles that work on a drag and drop basis. They're super easy to use and adjust, so you'll be able to take your videos to the next level in no time. So getting started, I first recommend going through and familiarizing yourself with the pack. Just hover over all of the options so you can start to get to know what's here. If there's any that catch your eye, you can just hit the star and they'll be in your favorites. And as you can see, I already have 10 that are my go-tos. So I'll drag the first one onto the timeline and the first thing that you want to do if you're working on a 4K timeline is hit this box to ensure that the sizing and quality is correct. And you can see straight away the difference that that box makes once it's been checked. Now we'll head to the top where we have these in and out points. These boxes allow us to switch the animation on or off when the layer starts and ends. And now the first tab we have is this content controls tab. And this is the overarching control center that allows you to manipulate the entire title. So we have the positioning, we have the scale, and we have the rotation. Now to reset these back to default, all you need to do is double click on the option name and it will automatically snap back. Now the last option we have here is the content spread. Now this won't be on every single title as it's only relevant when there's multiple titles inside, but this is just gonna allow you to control the spread and the distance between the two separate titles. And then from here is where the titles will begin to differ. You'll have different tabs depending on which title you're using, but rest assured they all work in a very similar way to control all of the elements. So for this first title that we're using, we have left and right controls, and they're going to work in the exact same way, just one control on the left side and one control on the right. We have this box here, which is left text. So if we uncheck this, the whole left side of the title disappears. And then title one, that would just remove the first title inside this. And the same thing for title two. So adjusting these is the exact same as your standard text box on DaVinci Resolve. You have the box to input your text. You can choose and change the fonts, the colors, the scale, tracking, line sizing, even the positioning of that exact title. So you have all the options you need to really dial in this look to how you want it. And then the last option inside this tab is actually the line controls. So you can see the line we have in the middle separating the spring and summer season. So we have the option to turn that off if you want to. We can control the length, the rotation of it, the thickness. Well, that's a bit too thick, but you can see the options to customize are all there. So I'll just reset this back. And then I won't go over the right text controls as it's the exact same, just for the right side. But lastly, we do have the drop shadow controls, which is gonna allow you to have a darker background behind the text so it stands out on brighter images. Now I know what you're thinking, surely it can't be that simple to get such professional looking results in just a few clicks. Well, that's exactly what this pack provides. Some titles do have some more customization options, like on title 36, we have this right third text with the three different titles. And here we have a vertical spread option that we can adjust with these titles. And why this is one of my favorite titles, as this is a very clean way to share a lot of information without taking up too much space on the screen. Or using something like title 42, you could stack multiple titles to almost create a list. So don't feel limited because there is so much potential here. One cool feature that we do have on title 50 and 21 is a cut point. So as this animation comes in, you can see that the title is slightly staggered. You can see the treasures comes in after the national and that is all controlled by the cut point here. So if I was to go all the way to the end, we can see the title comes in as one. So if you have multiple words inside your title, you'll need to make sure that your cut point isn't at a place where it's going to cut off half the word. So go halfway through the animation, slide your cut point so you have it to where you'd want it, and now you have a really cool staggering text effect. And now I want to show you a hack in DaVinci Resolve that not many people know, but this is going to save you so much time. So let's say this title 43 is something that you use very often, but you would change the text here, you would change the font, you know, you'd really make your own personal title and it's something you use in every YouTube video or maybe for all of your clients. Now, what most people would do is every time they open a new project, they would go to the effects tab, drag their title onto the timeline and have to redo all of the different settings they changed. However, there is a quicker way. Once you've got everything dialed into how you'd like it on each project, all you need to do is go to the media pool, and then in your power bins, you can actually drag that title into that section. So now in every project you open, this title will be available with the exact settings that you've entered in. And if your power bins aren't showing, all you need to do is click these three dots here, go show power bins, and then you'll have this section. 
as you can see i do have quite a lot of my power bins because this is something i utilize in every project whether it's sound effects logos graphics whatever it is i'm always using things in the power bins so for me it's much easier for titles that i know i'll use quite often just to save them up here and then every new project i can just drag them on and it's done pretty clever right well, you can thank me by hitting that like button. But the main thing to take away from this is to not be limited with your usage of these titles. They can be stacked to have multiple on the screen at once. Maybe it's using half of one and then half of another to get specific elements. And you aren't limited to 16 by nine video either. They also work on vertical video. Something to note when you're using an aspect ratio like nine by 16 is that these titles by default are made for 16 by nine. So that means when you drag on a wider title like something like 34, you're going to see that it doesn't quite fit inside the viewer. So all you need to do here is in the aspect mode, change that to letterbox and envelope, and then it will scale. From then you can head into the content controls, drag that up, hit that 4K quality box, and now you're good to go. So get testing out, get creative, and make sure to tag us in where you've implemented these titles in your own work. So I hope this overview has been helpful for you to better understand how to use the M title refined. Remember, if you have any questions at all, please drop them down in the comments below or head to our website at motionvfx.com. I've been JC and this has been your M title refined overview for Dreams Resolve.